Ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk is at it yet again with the Twitter shenanigans. And let me tell you, I am not surprised. You're probably not surprised. And we got to talk about it. We got to go over my thoughts and what we're seeing right now and how this could affect Tesla stock price in the short term. So 18 hours ago, Elon Musk went on Twitter, which I don't know why he's always on Twitter. But he's always on Twitter, right? He went on Twitter and said, Much is made lately of unrealized gains being a means of tax avoidance. So I propose selling 10% of my Tesla stock. Do you support this? Asking his 65 million Twitter followers. And he did a poll, right? And as of now, I just screenshotted this prior to me filming this video. So this is up to date. There's about... Uh, 3.1 million votes in there's five hours and four minutes left in the poll and 57 percent of people said yes sell 10 percent of your tesla stock and 43 percent said no don't sell your tesla stock 10 percent of your tesla stock and under that elon musk said I will abide by the results of this poll whichever way it goes so essentially he's saying guys look You choose the fate of my personal Tesla holdings. You decide, you 65 million people on Twitter, you decide whether or not I sell or hold, right? And under that, he said, note, I do not take a cash salary or bonus from anywhere. I only have stock, thus the only way for me to pay taxes personally is to sell stock. And a lot of people got this misconstrued. Well, maybe not a lot of people, but these big billionaires, right? We're talking Zuckerberg, Elon Musk. We're talking Jeff Bezos. All these big guys, everybody's like, why can't they just give their money away to people? Why can't they just, you know, take their $100 billion net worth, give $50 billion away. What people don't understand is their net worth is not just sitting, <clears throat> it's not just sitting in cash under their bed. It's not just in gold in, in, in a safe where they can just go and take it. It's not sitting on a hardware wallet or, uh, you know, in Bitcoin. This money, guys, is tied up in their stock price or in their stock holdings. It's not money that's just sitting in cash. And a lot of you guys know this already, but I feel like the the mass public out there, you know, they don't understand that this money is not just sitting in cash. It is tied up in stock. So Elon is asking his Twitter followers, look, should I sell 10%? Should I not sell 10%? And to give you guys a bit of perspective here, let me get some coffee in my system. Hold up. To give you guys a little perspective here, Elon Musk owns a whopping 193, and this was as of um, 11.6. Excuse me, guy. I just woke up about 30 minutes ago, so bear with me. Um, This is as of 11.6, which is yesterday, so it's up to date via Forbes.com. Elon Musk owns a whopping 193.3 million shares of Tesla representing 20.7% of the total shares outstanding. And that means Elon Musk owns over $250 billion of Tesla stock. And 10%, if he went and dumped that on the open market, that is obviously about $25 billion plus in um, <clears throat> Tesla stock. So if he went and just dumped 10%, We're talking $25 billion, guys, and there's more to this, right? A lot of people know that Elon's been very vocal on Twitter, to his fault, to a certain extent, right? I mean, I I wish he wasn't on Twitter. I don't think a lot of these huge CEOs, I mean, obviously, it's a free country, America, USA, baby. We can do whatever the heck we want, right? Uh, And he could go on Twitter, do whatever, but sometimes... He's, he, it's not good for him to be on Twitter. <clears throat> and geez, my throat today, my voice is trash. But bear with me again. I just woke up and I have that morning, you know, the morning voice. Anyway, you know, he's been on Twitter saying, I'm going to take Tesla uh, private 420. And he's been on Twitter saying, you know, oh my goodness, Tesla's too overbought. It's overvalued. Sell, I don't know if he said sell Tesla, but 
You know, he's been on Twitter before. And his actions on Twitter fluctuate the price. So in my opinion, and I've been vocal about this past couple of days, past couple of videos, I think this might cause a little drop in Tesla. Now, will it be a sustainable drop in terms of the stock price? Will it crash through the floor 30 40%? There's no way that's going to happen, at least in my opinion. But could it drop 5-10% on this news, maybe a day or two sell-off, and then we get a nice pop again? Yes, I think that could very well happen. And I was reading and doing some research as to why he might be selling. Um, well, <clears throat> he has a lot of options expiring. That was what I was reading. He has a lot of options expiring at some point in 2022. So he could be selling for tax reasons, raise some cash. Um, he might be selling because he really thinks Tesla's stock price is overvalued, which it, it kind of is overvalued here, guys. I mean, come on. A lot of future growth is priced in. So he might be raising cash for the business itself, maybe reinvest, you know, take the cash from um, the stock price, sell 10%, take that $25 billion and put it, um, somewhere else in Tesla, you know, R and D, whatever you guys know how it goes, invest within the business itself. And I was also reading how his brother, I think his name is Kimball, <clears throat> Kimball Musk. And I, I've, I've never met a Kimball in my life. That might be an older school name. I don't know. Uh, but that doesn't matter. His brother sold a hundred million dollars worth of Tesla recently i think a week ago a couple of days ago so that's interesting you know his brother went and sold now uh elon's on twitter saying should i sell maybe that causes some public scrutiny i have no idea but overall the moral of the story is without dragging this on too much elon thinks in my opinion tesla stock has ran up way too much he wants to take some off the table raise some cash whether he's going to use that for taxes reinvesting in the business <clears throat> whether he pulls a trevor milton and goes and goes and buys uh, a huge mansion multiple mansions hundreds of mansions which i'm just kidding he's not gonna do that but you know we we're, we're gonna see and we're gonna see how this reacts and i wouldn't be surprised if tesla stock were to take a haircut maybe to 1100 maybe a thousand honestly if it were up to me and i were the trading uh if i was uh, a trading god and i could just be like go here tesla stock I would want Tesla to go to 900 again, right by this uh, main 180 moving average, which would be a big drop. I mean, 20%, maybe a little bit more, which you guys might be like, Stas, that's not going to happen. But again, if I were to have a perfect world, I think Tesla needs a little haircut here. But hey, it's probably not going to happen unless the overall markets do take a hit. So that's pretty much it. We went over everything. Quick little Sunday morning video, and I typically don't make these, but I feel like this was a topic worth covering. And yeah, make sure to subscribe because I will make another video for later today going over the markets for this upcoming week because we do have a lot of earnings. Let me give you a little preview because I already started taking notes for this upcoming uh, week for this video coming up as well. We have PayPal, AMC, Palantir, Neo, Coinbase, Upstart, Fubo, DoorDash, SoFi, Disney, Open Door, Beyond Meat, Tattooed Chef, Tapestry. So no major companies in terms of market cap. Well, actually, that's not true. PayPal and Disney, those are pretty huge uh, market caps. Coinbase is getting there. Uh, but no like big, big tech names, but still. It's a very important week for earnings, so make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button, drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts down below, and check out my Patreon. If you guys want my buy, sells, call outs, morning update videos, more access to me throughout the day, plus more, all of that's down below on Patreon, or you can go to stasurfest.com slash Patreon. Make sure to also get your 50 bucks from M1 Finance by depositing 100 and you could also get two stocks from Webull up to $1,600 by also depositing $100. All of that's linked down below. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching again. As always, keep crushing the markets. Stay safe out there. Don't go on Twitter too much because Elon's going to drive you crazy. <laughs> Peace out, guys.